welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. Today, this is part two of Fall Decorating Using Financial Wisdom. <music> Okay guys, I'm so glad you're here. My name is Leslie. I'm the farm and pastor's wife. I do all kinds of content, mostly cooking, but today we're working on fall decorating. This is part two. The first part was actually tips and tricks on saving money. Today I'm going to show you how I'm incorporating those tips and tricks as I decorate my own home. Um, so that being said, you saw me on the last video, Shop My House and get out any decorations I had before, which were slim to none. So, if you have not seen that video, I would suggest stop right here. I will link down below yesterday's video. Go check it out first, then come back and watch part two. So, this is part two. Okay, so, one of the, um, sorry, one of the things I like to do when I'm decorating, and usually it's for Christmas, it's not fall, but what do you want to do when you're decorating for Christmas? You want Christmas music going, right? Well, I don't want Christmas music yet, so I like to put on my screen up there, if you can see it, a fall scene, hold on just a second, with some classical piano and so forth. You see the leaves falling just something to add to the ambiance of what I'm trying to accomplish and that's to decorate and become in the fall mood. Now, another thing when you're decorating your home, don't neglect the scents of your home, the smells of your home. You want that to exude fall as well and we all love all the fall scents. Um, two of my favorite from Bath and Body Works is leaves. I love leaves and you can tell I've already been burning this one. I have not lit this one yet but it's pumpkin pecan waffles. I did not know about that one till this year and it smells so good. It smells, it's got a cakey um, like a, I don't know, like almost like a fire smell but like you're cooking something. Buttery, popcorn, pecan, maple. <laughs> all those good scents. Anyway, also, if you have watched any of my channels, you know I love Scentsy. If you don't know about Scentsy, they have burners and they sell wax bars. Oh, love Scentsy. Love it. Usually in September, their scent of the month is when it starts becoming fall scented. And um, so I have ordered my fall scent, my scent of the month, September, but it has not arrived yet. So I will depend on my candles for now. And I've not bought a lot through Grove um, where you get Mrs. Meyer's stuff and all that stuff. I haven't bought a whole lot from them. But last year I purchased, I purchased this one last year. And so I had to get another one this year. It's Acorn Spice. I love it. And it's a room spray. And I just go around and I spray my couch. I spray, you know, or, well, last year I had a rug. I don't have a rug this year. <laughs> I would spray, spray the rug and it just smells like fall. I also this year picked up um, apple cider um, scented room spray. So make your house smell good. Makes it, it makes it feel like fall. Today the temperature is in the high 70s low 80s. So last week it was in the 90s. So it's actually starting to feel a little bit like fall. And the way the sun's shining outside, it just looks like fall. I'm ready for fall. Okay. So let's get started. You saw me shop my house and let's get started with actual decorating. Okay. I know I'm back. First, I want to just go through the house, video it before I start decorating. You're going to see mess and all mess and all so let me turn the camera around and we'll video the house
Let's take a quick look at the bathroom. It's a mess. I'm sorry, it's a mess. But that's the only other room I'm gonna do a little something in. I don't have a whole lot planned for in there, but we'll do a little bit. covers or the pillow covers on the throw pillows I normally have in here. It was no easy task, but I'm done. So here are the buffalo plaid. I'm going to use these in conjunction with the yellow along with a very fall looking one in the center. So I'm going to place these, but I'm not going to take any tags off. I'm not going to cut any tags off um, until I see that I love it. And, um, so, yeah. So, anyway, I did not buy new throw pillows. I, I mean, I did for the yellow ones. But for these right here, these are the ones that were on my couch. The only thing I bought was these slip color covers. I saved tons of money by doing it that way. And I could possibly reuse this at Christmas. I don't, haven't done a lot of buffalo plaid. In fact, this is the first. So, we'll see. But it is something I could potentially use at Christmas. So, let me grab the yellow pillows and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to stand back and see what I think. That big old bright purple is kind of throwing me off there. <sighs> well, I'm not sure. But I'm going to finish decorating the room, bring out the rest of the buffalo plaid and see what we think. Then I'll come back and cut these tags off. I don't think they're like the mattress tags that you can't cut them off. But um, I don't like them shining like this one up here in the air um so we'll cut those off um but yeah i think i love this pillow right here i think it's so cute and these are pillows that if you when you sit down on the couch they're good laying soft they're fluffy um these you'll probably toss to the side but these are good cuddly pillows so let's turn it around and i'll show you the love seat there you go, that's what the love seat looks like. So, so far, I like it. So let's keep decorating. guys I wanted to show you what I did here originally I just had these little pumpkins 
in this basket and it looked cute. But if you remember back in part one, the video prior to this, I said use filler. Go out in the yard if you have access to pine trees. I just stuck pine cones in this basket here and then laid the buffalo plaid and white pumpkins on there. You can see I kind of have a buffalo plaid theme going on. So we're going to finish cleaning and decorate and see what it's going to look like when all is said and done and then I can start cutting tags. Okay y'all so let's move to the dining room and once I get it set up I want you guys to tell me which set of dishes to use. I did not buy fall dishes. Y'all know I have a thing with dishes. I purged dishes because I have way too many and as much as I would love to have a fall set of dishes I don't, and I'm restraining and not going to buy them because I don't need any more dishes. I don't need to store any more dishes, and I don't need to spend any more money. So, especially on dishes. So, let's, let me get this set up, and then I'll set, make two table settings, and you guys leave me a message in the comment, tell me which table setting you like best. Okay guys, so I am pretty happy with everything I've done. Um, but there's one thing I wanna change. Up here on the mantle, the red just looks out of place. And so it looks like I'm really bringing out that mustard yellow in my theme today or this year or for, for the first time. <laughs> So I'm wanting something either kind of earth toned with yellow or, or something. So real quick, I'm going to shop my house and see if I have anything that may be tall and would, you know, fit that bill. So we're going to see what I can find and come up with. Okay, so I have this beautiful piece of pottery that has yellow in it, um, but it's got a lot of blue. Um, if you don't know, we live in very close to Seagrove. In fact, I went to Seagrove School, which is like the pottery capital. And But anyway, um, this is a beautiful piece and it's got the yellow in it, but I don't think I want the blue, so I'm gonna keep looking. Register two, Hannah, to register two. Look at this pumpkin tear thing like that would be so beautiful yes it is 40% off but I think I can shop my house and find something else to go on my mantle okay guys I'll show you what I did over the mantle in just a second I came up with something I think is really pretty now you may disagree but I think it's really pretty and it, it came from my house what's better than that so let's start in the kitchen and I'll show you what I did in the kitchen. Now let me tell you, the kitchen, it's kind of fallish looking anyway because of the brown cabinets, the brown and beige, it's already in there. So I didn't do a whole lot in the kitchen because it just didn't need a whole lot. In fact, I'll probably have to work harder in the spring and summer to brighten it up um, just because it's, it's fall colors anyway because I like that. So let's go in there and I'll show you what I did. 
Okay, guys, as far as my island, I wanted to have something in the center of it. But if you remember my old kitchen, if you followed me and gone with me any time and remember my old kitchen, everything was so cluttered on my countertops. And I, I really got so sick of that. So when I was putting stuff out here, I thought, man, I don't want to give up the, the cleanness and the simplicity of just a plain countertop. So I just stuck a candle in here. It's easy to move when I need to use the whole island. As far as my countertop, that's all we're doing. As far as the island, this is all we're doing. I'm keeping it super, super, super simple and clean looking. So, okay, we'll move to the other cabinets. Okay, the dirty dishes in my sink are not part of my decoration. <laughs> okay, I told you I kept some of the pumpkins that I had found in my, what little bit of stash I had, and I used this beautiful antique bowl, and I did my filler trick with bags and so forth, um, and I put a, like a earthy type cloth in here and I just set all those pumpkins even the glittery ones I think picks up the the shine and glitterness of my my accent pieces so um I just thought that was really pretty and it has my LMB farms sign there we'll move on across I used my big white pitcher that normally sits here somewhere else so I just had this little sign that says, Hello Pumpkin. And I had the fall plate back there in the back. And I just think that's a pretty fall um, collage there. This one of you, one of my sweet, sweet viewers sent me that. And I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And it looks so good in my kitchen. And it's just amazing. And it's being used and but it's also decor so i love it thank you so much for sending me that it goes perfectly in my kitchen and with my copper sink <laughs> right there okay we'll move on right here all i did was i changed out my pink and colorful placemat thing for another one and i put a fall candle on it and then over here, my rolling pin that normally sits here, it's in the sink. Um, I'm not submerging it in water and I don't put it in the dishwasher, but I, I, it is dirty. I'll show you. <laughs> this is my rolling pin. And another one of my sweet, sweet viewers made that and sent it to me. And, well, her husband made it. And so it sits right here as part of the look but um, the only thing I did there was I put that other thing I had from the dollar store, the thankful and blessed pumpkin, sat it there, and that is my kitchen. Okay, let's move to the dining room. Hey, if you remember, I said buy things you can use multiple times, and so that's why I went with this color. It's kind of a, it looks pink on here, but it's not pink. It is a rust red. That's more, you can see more of what color it is right there. Um, it's more of a rusty colored red. And instead of chargers, I bought these. And this beautiful embroidered um, pumpkin runner. Okay, I don't have my candle lit in my candle stand. But there is my little centerpiece i think it is absolutely adorable it has the galvanized pumpkin acorns pine cones and my sweet chicken that another one of my sweet viewers sent me and chickens have just got to go everywhere okay we'll come back and look at the place setting and i'll talk about that in just a second and these two little gourds down here are salt and pepper shakers i think this is adorable and over here on my buffet, I didn't do anything except take off my spring cake plate, my spring uh, bunny rabbits. I took them down. Um, so that's it. And I didn't do anything to my hutch. It's pretty much as is. 
Now, I said I don't have any fall dishes as much as I love dishes. And as much as I would love to go buy dishes, I had to resist that urge. And so I bought out my sweet, I brought out my sweet farm dishes that one of my dear friends from Raleigh sent me. And they are all farm. And doesn't that look good with that place setting? I mean, this color matches the placemat. And they're all different animals. I, I need to sort them, maybe. Um, got pigs, you got cows, there's a goat. And I just thought it looked, it's the falliest, the falliest, the most autumn looking dishes I have. And, and then of course the green just goes with it. And look, one of my sweet viewers heard me say I love pineapple glasses and the green in particular because that reminds me of my childhood. She found a set and I was able to purchase them. <laughs> love them. So this is going to be my fall setting. I don't have fall china. So it's, this is kind of heavy duty dishes. So, um, and we have little boys that eat here. So that's a good thing. So yeah. Okay, now let's move to the living room. Okay guys, so you know that yellow and then the black buffalo plaid kind of became my theme. Um, so here I just have a black buffalo plaid. Now this sign stays out all the time. One of you, my sweet, sweet friends, sent that to me. These were three of my picks from <laughs> um, my tub of stuff so um, we use those and let's move over here to this table again we have the black and white buffalo this little sign that says give thanks with a grateful heart and my beautiful chicken feeder with that gorgeous flower arrangement in it okay and here let's take a look at the love seat, the yellow and black, and then this this beautiful autumn um, pillow that brings out the yellow. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm turning too fast. The yellow bluff, buffalo plaid, and it's got the embroidery in black that says family, and y'all know how important my family is to me. Got my sweet little turkey on my end tables and that candle right there came from Hobby Lobby and it smells amazing. Okay, let's look at the couch. Here again, we have the yellow pillows, the black pillows and the autumn in the center. Isn't that gorgeous? Tickle pink with that. Okay, let's go over here. My buff buffalo plaid, and you know, I filled it up with the pine cones, remember? Farmhouse, okay, now you're getting ready to see my mantle. I'm so proud of my mantle. Okay. Look at that. Now, that's my TV, so I don't know if you can really get the full effect with the beautiful autumn scenery on the TV, but these white pictures were in my kitchen. I used them in the corner as decoration. And I just picked up some fall yellow floral picks, put in one of them. And then, so I already had that. And let's come over here. And I keep my twinkle lights up all the time. Um, my husband and I bought this baby at an auction and just some more floral picks in there. Now let me step back so you can get the full effect of the whole room. Oh, I'm turning you sideways. Look, there's my, there's my yellow. <laughs> there's my color. Let me turn the TV off so you can kind of get the full effect. Oh, you're still gonna get the glare. <laughs> But I am just, I am very simple. I don't have to have lots of garland. I think it's beautiful for people who do. But um, 
that's just not I mean I can't get it to come together pretty it looks beautiful in other homes but if I tried to do it it just wouldn't look good some of you asked me about doing DIY projects and that actually probably would cost me more money than it is to just purchase something because I am notorious for buying things and either A, never getting to it and never doing it, taking the time to do it, or B, it doing it and it just looks horrible. So, um, so here is my fall living room. Okay, so the only room I have left to show you guys is the bathroom because that's all I'm decorating. Remember, I'm I'm biting this elephant a little at a time. I don't feel the pressure or I'm not allowing myself to feel the pressure to get everything done in one year. I'm not. I'm not going to fall for that. I'm going to do it little by little. So really, the living room and kitchen and a little bit in the dining room. I did buy the tablecloth, but like I said, I'm going to use that for multiple occasions. I can also use those placemats for multiple occasions. They're casual. They can be casual or you can dress them up. Um, so I'm resisting the urge to do everything I want to do this year. I'm going to pace myself with this. And um, so with that being said, the only rooms I'm doing is what little bit I did in the kitchen because, we well, you know, we just did that remodel in the kitchen. It doesn't need any more. Um, and then the living room and I'm doing just, just a little, in fact, in the bathroom, I think I have spent $2 in what I've done in the bathroom. All I'm doing is I'm changing out a shower curtain to one I already had. I already had some of the decor I'm putting up and the only thing I purchased to go in the bathroom is just a couple of hand towels. That's it. So like two to three dollars is all I've spent for the bathroom. So um, I did spend the living room and I guess dining room took the majority. The living room probably definitely took the majority of everything. And I'm not spending another thing. I would. There are things I would like to have. Like I would like to have a fall rug at the kitchen door. Um, but you know, that's not a necessity. People are just going to walk on it. So if, if I come across one that's a really good price and I just happen to come across it, I may get it, but, um, I'm not, I'm not going to go shopping for one. So, all right, let's go take a look at the bathroom and then we'll finish this video up. Okay guys. So I kept the bathroom super, super simple. Um, <laughs> Just about everything you see here, with the exception of Bath and Body Works, came from the dollar store. And y'all, I think this is super beautiful. Super beautiful. So, um, the only thing I really added in here was I had some kitchen towels and I brought them in here. And I put up a new shower curtain. I have a brown shower curtain. Um, so, I put it up. Towels. And then here's more dollar store. Um, that's dollar store. And this is some pottery I had in the house. So super simple, but beautiful. Um, so I used everything that came from the dollar store with the exception of the picks and two of the signs. So all my dollar store stuff came in handy. And then all the other stuff I added so, yeah, the signs I had picked out were kind of uh, from the dollar store, but everything else has turned out absolutely gorgeous. So, I kept it super simple in here. We can add to this room next year. Like I said, my main focus was the living room this year. Next year, we'll pick another spot, probably the outside of my house. So, yeah, super simple and elegant. Okay guys, so that's it in a nutshell. My fall decorating on a dime and um, how to save your money so you can save for things to come that you need 
but yet still enjoy life and have things that you want, but to do it wisely. If you are stretched and you are making it from paycheck to paycheck, I implore you, do not do any decorating. I, I beg of you, get to where you can have a little wiggle room before you start indulging. Because to, to me, decorating is indulging a little bit. Um, but I, I want you to get to the point. Many of you have said you are very interested in a financial um, video. So Bryant and I will work on that and get that together for you. This is definitely a passion of ours. We, we definitely want you to sacrifice some things now so that you can have that financial freedom and without worry. I'm not saying so you can have everything you ever wanted. I'm saying so you can live without worry. So uh, we'll work on that and get that together. But I hope you enjoyed my simple decorations. And um, it was fun. I so enjoyed doing it. And I've gone a lifetime without decorating for fall. And um, this was the year. So thank you for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Please don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the bell notification and select all so you don't miss anything. Thank you guys for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.